This translocation move comes against the backdrop of rhino poaching crisis in South Africa. South Africa is home to most of the world's population of the rhino species. South Africa has been battling with the scourge of rhino horn for years now. The demand is driven by the insatiable appetite for their horns. In Chad, it's a different kind of a story. According to the Environmental Affairs Department official documents, the last time a rhino was spotted in Chad was in 1972. South Africa and Chad signed a memorandum which allows for the translocation of the black rhino from here to Chad as part of an initiative to reintroduce rhinos to that country. The two countries described the signing as the deepening of the already good bilateral relations that exist with special focus on consolidation of economic cooperation and other areas of mutual interest. If the experiment is successful, it will pave the way for the species to be reintroduced to other parts of its former continental range from which it was exterminated due to poaching. This uh, project is, is aimed at reintroducing black rhino uh, um, into Chad. Now we're starting off with six and we want to increase the population to around about 20 to get it a viable population size so that the growth uh, population growth would, would increase um, when you have a viable size population. We obviously want to support Chad with the reintroduction of black rhino into the country. It's a kind of reciprocal agreement and reciprocal uh, partnership indeed. So what is actually meaningful for us, more than growing conservation, yes called growing conservation, but is conservation with a purpose and for a purpose. Yes, let's have these animals and they are going to be also assisting other range states as we would also be assisting other range states so that the African continent can actually be supporting one another and we grow in the conservation value in South Africa. People of the government of the are very happy to coming back these animals which left Chad since 50 years ago. We now, government of Chad is now developing the parking and the areas around the parking. In the around the parking we have population who are living there. When we develop this area, we became benefit for the people who are around the parking. The rhino's destination will be Zakuma National Park in the southern east of Chad. Sherry Morkel has been at the helm of caring for the sixth rhino before being translocated. They were very stressed initially um, and charging, um, just typical black rhino behavior, just you know, very nervous, skittish, um, explosive. Um, but yeah, they settle in very quickly, um, start eating, take to the lucerne, um, and and just adapt, adapt or die. You know, they don't have a choice really. Um, we put them in this little pen, and and they just have to make peace with that. And they're actually really lovely, um, sweet, sensitive animals. She and other experts here are convinced that the rhinos will be translocated safely and will thrive in their new environment. You listen to Jamila CGTN, Port Elizabeth, South Africa.